Today, we're going to be looking at the brand new DR20 slash 0.5 versus the iconic DR504. And the reason why we're doing this is that the DR20, or as we like to call it, the little rig, shares the exact same preamp circuitry as all the amplifiers within the DR range. So that means that the DR20, the DR504, the DR103, DR201, and the brand new DR88 all have the same DNA. And in this video, we're going to be showing you that despite its small size, the DR20 is still capable of achieving those big classic high watt tones. As mentioned, we often like to refer to the DR20 as the little rig, and that's because we pair it with this wonderful WEM 2x12 cab, kind of like a miniature version of an infamous rig from the 70s. Now, the eagle eyed amongst you may recall we did in fact have an amplifier called the little rig for a short while, as basically a precursor to the DR20. I've not actually got one of the little rigs here, but we'll use some movie magic to float one across my face. So, as you'll see, the DR20 is hand-wired to the exact same spec as the DR504. The big difference being that this runs on two EL84 power valves, as opposed to the two EL34 power valves you get in the Custom 50. Now, HiWatt has long been renowned for building big, loud, heavy valve amplifiers isn't necessarily practical for today's guitarist. Our goal with the DR20 was to build a small valve amplifier that still captures the same sound, feel and tone of its bigger brothers, whether that's in the studio or on the stage. There is a little trick that you can do with all the amplifiers within the DR range. If you take a look at this custom 50 down here, you might be able to see that we have patched the channels together. This means that we can now blend the normal and the bright volumes to give you more tonal variety. It also gives you the option to push the amplifier into greater saturation. The DR20 has its own dedicated linked input, and what we're doing here is patching the channels internally within the chassis. For this video, we're going to leave the channels patched in the Custom 50, and we're going to play through the linked input of the DR20. First off, we're going to try some clean tones to see how both amps stack up against one another. After that, we're going to try some breakup sounds, and finally, we're going to try out a boost through the front end of the amplifier. And today, we're going to try out our brand new WEM Copycat Boost 1. With that in mind, I'm going to hand over to Richard, who's going to take you through both the amps. 